Greenland is an island nation, locked in what seems like a never-changing state of deep freeze. However, scientists recently discovered that this polar ecosystem is changing, and at a pace that is sounding alarm bells around the world. It happened during a recent expedition to the southeastern coast of Greenland. When their research ship arrives, glaciologists load equipment onto a helicopter and set off in search of a stable landing area to set up camp. So what we can do if we go... You go in front of me? Yeah, well, no, no good. It's grass right there. Their destination is the Congerluswak Glacier. At almost five miles across and over 3,000 feet thick, this is one of Greenland's largest ice fields. When the scientists reach the glacier, they install a series of GPS sensors. Their mission is to measure the movement of the glacier as it transports frozen water from the ice sheet to the ocean. Though it's almost impossible to see glacial movement with the naked eye, when time-lapse photography compresses eight hours into a few seconds, it becomes more apparent. Once back aboard the ship, the scientists begin calculating the glacier's speed. They discover that it's moving at the rate of nine miles per year, 125 feet per day. Everyone is stunned. The speed of the glacier's march to the sea has tripled in just 10 years. That would start to uh, collapse the ice sheet very rapidly in ways that we don't yet, uh, aren't, don't yet appreciate. Um, and that could uh, remove a large amount of the Greenland ice sheet quite quickly. The implications are shocking. Once a glacier picks up speed, it's almost impossible to slow it down. But there still remains one unsolved mystery. What is causing the glaciers to speed up? Some believe the answer is tied to the meltwater lakes that form on the ice sheet during the summer months. The team begins to investigate one of the larger lakes. It's just under a mile in diameter. They decide to take a closer look. Though melt lakes forming in the warmer months is not a new phenomenon, they are now developing more frequently and at higher elevations. This is clearly a sign of global warming. I didn't expect the temperature trends to manifest themselves this clearly in ice sheet acceleration. It, we know that the temperatures have gone up, but to see this rapid response has been a surprise to the science community. The glaciologists then uncover the connection they were looking for, the relationship between the lakes and the racing behavior of the glaciers. They discover that many of the lakes empty into rivers that feed into deep cracks in the ice. From there, the water falls straight down. Scientists believe that when the water from the lakes reaches the bottom, it lubricates the flow of the glacier over the bedrock. This speeds up the movement of the glacier, increasing the volume of ice falling into the ocean. The problem is, every time glacial ice falls into the sea, it contributes to global sea level rise. If temperatures continue to rise, more and more meltwater lakes will form, and more and more ice will speed its way to the sea. Scientists now estimate 
that one-third of global sea level rise comes from the Greenland ice sheet. If the entire ice sheet should melt, the oceans of the world would rise by a catastrophic 23 feet. Though scientists tell us that the possibility of the disappearance of Greenland's entire ice sheet is centuries away, before you breathe a sigh of relief, they also warn that at the current rate of melting, within a few decades, rising seas will have a profound effect on the low-lying countries of the world.